The millennials generation ages between 18 and 34 is consistently being watched and their behavior is dissected by the real estate industry because their numbers rival baby boomers. They now comprise 34% of the workforce and believe it or not, 50% of the home buyers. They've been slow to enter home ownership with many industry insiders saying it's because they're saddled by student debt and slow to enter into marriage and parenthood and quite frankly, failure to launch. But millennial motherhood is on the rise. About 1.3 million or 42% of millennial age women gave birth in 2015, accounting for 82% of all US births that year according to the Pew Research Center data. The desire for parenthood is strong. 60% of millennials say their being a parent is extremely important to their overall identity. Now, could the increase in births from the millennial generation bow well for real estate and finally convince them to go move into home ownership? That's the hope. And with this generation rapidly moving up from 30% of the buyer pool only 18 months ago and ending up at 50% in 2016, they're demonstrating their desire to own a house. Millennials have reportedly gone after the urban lifestyle, but their buying has shown a different picture. They seem to share their parents' aspirations for a single family home, often in the suburbs. In the coming weeks, we're gonna explore their behaviors so that we can understand how to reach this generation. In the meantime, remember 87% use online resources in their research and home search. Now, for minding your own business. Hey, let's talk about content calendars. They're simply calendars that help you plan your marketing content and editorial initiatives. Why should you use a content calendar? Well, because winging it just doesn't work. If you don't have a plan, you'll definitely not hit the goal. It's easy to end up wasting time and you could be spending your productive time just trying to figure out what to do. That much is generally guaranteed. Using a content calendar makes it easier to plan out what you're gonna be doing for the future while documenting what you've already done. You can use any type of calendar, including a spreadsheet or just something on the wall. Now, once you get your calendar built out, you're gonna be able to hit your deadlines and hold yourself accountable for getting stuff done. You can see everything you're working on in one place and that really helps to stay organized. You'll also be able to be more intentional about what you create instead of scrambling at the last minute to try to figure out what to create and then creating it. In short, you'll work much more efficiently and effectively with a whole lot less stress and that will make it easier to stay consistent. I think it's something that we can all get behind on and actually get behind doing. So make sure and do it. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Have a great day.